Hey guys, I'm Joe Beretta. And I'm Steve Zaragoza. And we were talking recently because of this whole presidential election thing, and I was like, Steve, what happens if the president dies? And I was like, Joe, what happens if the vice president dies? We're like, oh, we don't know. So we looked it up on the internet, and there's this thing called the presidential line of succession, and it's really complicated, filled with a bunch of people you don't give a crap about. And I was like, Steve, how are we gonna make people remember this? And I was like, Joe, why don't we write a song? And I was like, shut up. But then I was like, that was mean. And then I thought about it, and I was like, that's a good idea. So here it is. Let's go! That's good, Steve. Keep it up, buddy. Let's do it. Let's lay some lyrics down. If a satellite fell upon the head of the president, the VP would fill his shoes. And if the VP stroked and he croaked, then the Speaker of the House would pay his dues. And if he fell into a never-ending hole, never to be seen again, then the president pro tempore and the Senate would become the president. This is the succession of the president. Follow us down the line. This is the succession of the president. Everyone has their time. In the president pro tempore of the Senate lies in a bear attack. Rawr! Do not fret, not yet. Secretary of the state will have his back. If he spontaneously combusts into dust and into gust, he is heaven sent. Then the secretary oh. of the treasury becomes the president. This is the succession of the president, America's backup plan. This is the succession of the president, enjoy it while you can. If the sec of the treasure lost his head in the red of the three predator lights, then the sec of defense and attorney gen get killed by Cenobites. Then the secretary interior pulls above a bet and falls into a sarlacc pit. Then the secretary of agriculture will become the president. The sec of ag, he goes outside and gets bit by a zombie. Then he bites the acting secretary of commerce and he becomes a zombie. Secretary of Labor gets bit, Secretary of Health and Human Services gets bit, Secretary of Housing and Urban Development gets bit, Secretary of Transportation, Secretary of Energy gets bit. This is the succession of the president, it'll never get this bad. This is the succession of the president, cause that'd be really sad. Then Gozer appears, and the Secretary of Education, and the Secretary of Veteran Affairs cross the street. They both die because they don't know how to properly work proton packs even though in the movies they said you couldn't cross the streams but then they did and it worked but these guys aren't real ghostbusters so they died everybody's dead and no one is left except the secretary of homeland security <sighs> that was the succession of the president now we're stuck in your head that was the succession of the president, all but one are dead. But wait a minute, Joe. Yeah, Steve? What happens if that guy dies? Who becomes the president after that? Well, let me tell you. Okay. See, the House could elect a new Speaker of the House, or the Senate could elect a new President pro tempore of the Senate. Whoever does it first, that person becomes the president. And if he dies, well, then they'll be taken over by another one. They can just keep electing president pro tempores and, and speaker of the house people. And, you know, it's whoever does it first. It's this weird race to the top. It's not really set in stone. But then if they keep dying, they'll just keep electing new ones. So it's just a never-ending thing. But you know what? It's all irrelevant because if we got to this point, we were either hit with a nuclear bomb or a new black plague. Or both. At least that's what I read on the internet. You got it?